Hey, what's up, guys? Today in this video, we're going to be going over how to beat Variant 1, how to fully explore it. I have the chance to fully explore it. I just haven't. I know I'm qualified to talk about it, so don't be like, no, it's not 100%. No, I can do this. I've done all the fights. I know all the problems. I know all the tips and tricks. I just am too lazy to actually explore it because this quest is just not fun. But for this video, we're going to be going over Chapter 1.1. This chapter, you can only use skill and mutant champions, and it's by far the easiest out of the other two, two chapters, out of the other three chapters. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's hop into the very first quest, a variant one. This quest the theme is all about power gain. This quest is just power gain, power gain, power gain. There's not that many difficult fights, but there are a few that could be really bad, like this Mordo, Hyperion over here. This Vision, and this Infinity Man. All these guys are pretty easy if you have the right counters. If you know how to fight Infinity War Iron Man, he's not that bad. But these power gain fights are really bad if you're, like, playing too aggressive and you, like, build up the power too much, especially this guy. And, actually, I think all of these fights, because they all have their own forms of power gain. You're just going to play it very slow and very carefully if you want to counter these guys. The boss... Is not this dude. This guy is not the boss. He's like technically the boss, but he's one of the easiest characters to fight. He has a crap ton of power gain, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't have a third special. So you can just keep pushing him to special one or special two and he'll throw it. And he has Black Panther specials, so it's super easy to dodge. And then you can just counter him. And you never have to worry about getting special three. You never have to worry about parrying or in intercepting. I'll tell you the real boss is this Emma Frost and this Emma Frost. They're basically the exact same fight. Actually, they are the exact same fight with increased power gain by 100% and special attacks cost 50% less for each character. And if you've fought Emma Frost, or specials, they're not hard, but they're kind of just like hard to get used to if you've never fought it before. So I'd definitely say get used to fighting her before doing this because what makes her special one and special two hard is it has inverted controls, which is sounds bad, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Instead of just swiping back, you're just going to swipe at her to dexterity it. And the problem is, she also has 50%, well, we, you both people have 50% less pa um, cost for power. So you throw a special one, you'll get like half the power back. You'll throw a special two, you'll have like a bar of power left. And when you find someone like Emma Frost, she's just going to be constantly throwing special ones at you. And this constant throw of special ones is really annoying. You're only going to be able to get a few hits in at a time each combo, like two or three, maybe four sometimes. And I would say the best counter... Or one that I use that I'm going to be putting on the screen right now is Havoc. Havoc is amazing for this fight. Because you'll do like two or three hits at a time. Let her throw a special. Go back in. Two or three hits. Let her throw a special. You use like maybe one or two special ones. You get up all your plasma charges. And then you just launch a massive special three and she's dead. Like that's one of the best counters for her. She's probably the biggest problem. I don't know. 100% she's the biggest. This magic could be pretty bad if you don't have the right counter. But if you have like a four star blade, you'll be able to destroy this fight. Or just any character with a Billy Accuracy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This quest is all just about power gain, really. So if you have just if you just know to play slow and have control, don't let him get too much power in a single combo. And like for Mordo, time his power gain stands. You know how to do that. In Vision, I would say never push this guy over a bar of power because you might get synthesis and then just go straight up to special three. But other than that, if you just play slow and steady, this quest is pretty easy. So yeah, that's all you really need to know. Now we're moving on to the second quest. Arguably, out of all three of the quests in this first chapter, this one's probably the easiest. I don't know, 100%, but in my opinion, this one's probably the easiest to 100%. Because this one doesn't have any really crazy power gain. It just has some, like, irrelevant nodes, like Burden of Might and, like, Buffet 5%. I would say the only problem fights is this Buffet 5% King Groot, because he's a tank. And he's just going to be regening a lot from Buffet and his own regen. But he's not that hard. He's just tanky. It's just a long fight. This Mephisto could be a really bad problem if you don't know how to fight him. And if you don't have, like, a great counter. Blade works really well for this guy. Like, Blade, go to. I used my 5-star Blade. Just made this fight look easy. But if you don't have Blade or anyone that can deal with him, you try to play it slow. And the second he gets his aura up, you just got to swipe back and dodge. Because this guy, he's variant. He'll do a crap ton of damage. And the only other really hard fight is this Domino. What makes this domino hard, you say? Just the fact that it's domino. And she has spite. So spite, I don't know if spite's that bad on domino because her specials aren't really the problem. It's more just that critical failure. 
And if you have the unlucky on you, don't try to dodge your special one because dexterity doesn't work. So you might just get hit in the face. You just got to block it. But Domino's, do Domino's just Domino. She's just annoying. Critical failure will just keep popping up, just doing damage. This fight, I would say the best counter is probably Namor because you can just reflect it back at her. But like, I understand not everyone has a Namor. I don't have a Namor. But other than that, this fight just kind of kind of suck. But it's not that bad. It's just a Domino, really. It's just a stacked up. Everything else in this fight is pretty just much of just a cakewalk. This guy doesn't really do anything. But this boss, he also is pretty much just a cakewalk. He just has a whole bunch of healing stuff. And the fact that he's an Ultron drone, he doesn't have any, like, debuffs you can really put on him. Um, so, you know, he's just going to be tanky. This is just going to be a long fight. It's not going to be hard. The only thing I will say is, since he's the mutant drone, he has electro specials. So I'd say watch out for that special one. That's like the only thing that could probably kill you in this fight is the special one from this guy is electro. So you got to get distance. You got to swipe back pretty far if you want to fully dodge it. But other than that, out of every quest in this entire one, this entire variant, this is probably the easiest one. It gets, this whole chapter is pretty easy, but like chapter two and chapter three just becomes a whole new just territory of ass rape. But yeah, this is just, pretty easy so yeah that's pretty much it for this quest so now we hop into the third and final quest this quest is probably the hardest of the three what makes this quest so hard are these two fights which both of them are just inevitable damage unless you have like a really good counter but war machine you kind of just take inevitable damage and magic has a few good counters this guy you just want to try to push him to his level two as much as possible and they both have cornered which makes them hard Another hard fight is probably just going to be this hype. Hype, you really just want to not use anyone with debuffs and play it super slowly because he is cornered on him. So his power gun's going to be shooting up. This guy might be pretty hard, but the thing is, at least he's in the beginning of the quest. So if you fail, you can just restart the quest and keep doing it until you have a good time. Another hard, two hard fights are going to be this wasp and this wasp. They're both just normal wasps, so wasps are kind of hard to play against. But once you learn how to play against her, she's good. And this wasp in specific has Aspect of Chaos, which you can use to your advantage, which is every 10 seconds, your HP pulls will switch. And then after 4 seconds, it will switch back. So what you can do is you can wait out the 10 seconds. And then once you switch HP pulls for like the 4 seconds, you can take some like massive blocked hits or like some hits to the face if you're feeling brave enough. And then after the 4 seconds, the HP pulls will switch back. And then so all the damage she did to you will go back to her. So if she got you down to like 3% health and then they switch, she's at 3% health and you're at whatever she was at. And you could use that to your advantage. This magic could also be pretty bad, but just bring someone like Blade and you'll be fine. And then the two hard fights that people are probably going to struggle on the most is this Iron Man Infinity War and the other Iron Man Infinity War over here. Both have immunity to bleed and poison. And it's just a normal Iron Man Infinity War basically, just really stacked. And some of the best characters I'd say is just use Havoc again. Just get up or Havoc or Namor. Just use those special threes and just destroy them. And yeah, other than that, there's not much to worry about. And But I will say this is the first quest where you actually have to pay attention to the boss. This is a red Ultron Joan. I think his specials are like Cyclopses. So not that hard, but it can screw you over at times. But this is the first boss you actually want to pay attention to his nodes because he has Calchops. You swipe back. You'll get a bleed debuff on you. So you want to bring any character that can either mitigate the bleed or just not get bleed at all. Like Iceman, just no bleeds. Or you could use a character like Omega Red, who's probably like insane for this fight because you just get the bleed on you. He'll mitigate it and then you'll do crazy damage. Or characters like Namor that can like reflect it back. But like, you really just want someone who can deal with bleed. And other than that, he's just a very tanky Cyclops, basically. So yeah, um, that's all you really need to know. You then, once you do this, you'll have variant 1.1 explored fully. So yeah, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Next, we're going to be going over chapter 2 and 3, which I haven't fully explored, but I know how to deal with them. I just haven't gotten around to it because I've been a little bit lazy. But the this chapter, like, even though some people say 3 is the hardest and the most stacked, this chapter is a bitch. Like This chapter, chapter 2, tomorrow would I go over? Like, this one is probably going to be the hardest chapter for most people, unless you have, like, a maxed out ghost or magic. But, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.